Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taya Piggy Vance and I have honestly wanted to do this for so long. Like, so freaking long. Since I ever, or well, my first ever comp, which was this bird going off right, which was in 2018. So, seriously. <laughs> um, doesn't mean no one vlogging. Anyway, first show was in 2018 and I always said that I wanted to document the whole experience and it just never happened. I then said the same thing in 2019 and it just never happened. But anyway, here we are, I'm starting now. I am five weeks out from my first show. So I am planning to compete with the IFBB Pro League. My first show will be the New South Wales State Show and then I will do the Nationals, which is four weeks later. So. To be able to go to nationals, you have to do a state show. You don't have to win it or anything like that. You just have to compete in it. But look, that's the goal, right? We wanna, we wanna take it all out. <laughs> so I was actually five weeks out as of yesterday. And then four weeks later, I'll be flying to Melbourne um, to do nationals. So that's exciting. A little bit of a, like a holiday kind of thing. I have competed before, as I said. So I did uh, 2018, 2019. But those shows were actually with WBFF. So I changed federations. I decided I wanted to do IFBB Pro League. And that has not happened yet. <laughs> Only because of like COVID and lockdowns and things like that. So I did prep in 2020. I did prep in 2021. All of my shows got cancelled. So, and we weren't allowed to travel or anything like that. We, I prepped through lockdowns. I did all of that stuff. Um, and yeah, unfortunately... I think it was like both shows under under 10 weeks out, maybe under eight weeks. Can't remember, but they got canceled. So it was pretty disappointing, pretty heartbreaking. So I'm very excited that, look, it looks like this one is 100% going ahead. <laughs> Five weeks and then four weeks later, I will be up on that stage. Um, I will be a first timer with IFBB, but I plan on doing all of it, really. I plan on doing the IFBB first timers novice and then competing in open so and the reason i'm doing that is because i want to be able to get the stage time i want to be able to feel comfortable on that stage and then by the time i get to opens yeah it'll i'll feel a lot more comfortable up there so i am pretty confident on stage like i do love the stage which is also why i love competing because well i love the gym i'm a very competitive person and i used to dance so i love the stage <laughs> so yeah i'm very comfortable up on stage but look first time you ever step out on that stage you're always going to be nervous so yeah i figured the more stage time i have the better at the moment so where i'm at with like training and things like that i am i've got cardio five days a week for one hour it actually just got up to last night i have one hit session a week and i'm training five days a week so i have two rest days from training i'm following a meal plan at the moment which i actually haven't done i like I did it my first prep, I followed a meal plan. But yeah, I haven't followed a meal plan in a very long time. I've always done flexible dieting. Um, but look, last year I started my own business, Train With Taya. I left my corporate job after years and decided to work for myself. That started last year pretty much around when prep started. So I just said to my coach, which is Troy Thornton, write me a meal plan so I don't have to think about anything. I can just follow it. I do like it, like it's been good not to be able to think about things, but I will admit I do like flexible dieting. I just, to like, literally because I like to be flexible, not because I like to include lots of like junk or anything in my diet, just because if I decide I want to have eggs with my partner or something like that, I can swap out my oats and make it work easily. So that's what I like, but we're just doing the meal plan for this one. We're rolling with it. Everything's working well. Um, coach is pretty happy where I'm at. I'm pretty happy to... I mean, you're at that stage of prep where you definitely get inside your head, you're like questioning things, you never really feel lean enough, you never really feel like big enough or you're super flat right now, so you're not full enough, so it's kind of just trusting the process, taking each day as it is, trying not to focus on other competitors, just staying in your lane and focusing on what you have to do um, because your journey is never going to look the same as someone else's, so literally like you're your calories from you to the next person are going to be completely different. What you have to do for cardio is going to be completely different. Um, so there's no point stressing about that or obsessing over it. Just obsess over you, over what you have to get done and tick off each thing on your day. Don't even focus about what you have to do tomorrow. Focus about what's happening right now and today. So 
that's where my head's at. That's what I'm doing. So managing my business, um, which has been absolutely amazing. I'm so happy I took the leap. But yeah, I left my corporate job. Everything's just been like full on. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's good. Super happy. I plan on showing you guys a lot. So I want to show you like my check-ins. I want to show you days on my plate. I want to show you my workouts. Um, random vlogs, like a day in the life, what I actually get up to and things like that. So if there's anything in particular that you want to see, please drop a comment below. Um, I will do my best to get it to you. I really want to keep these weekly. I want to keep giving you the weekly updates and what I get up to of like a recap. So yeah, give me some ideas of what you want. I'm all for it. I'm very excited to be able to document this. Five weeks out as of yesterday, it's definitely grind time. <laughs> Hey guys, um, so I literally woke up this morning and was like, oh my God, I'm so sore. I'm not gonna train today. I have a massage booked for later today. So I was just like, just take it as a rest day, um, train tomorrow and whatnot. And then I've eaten breakfast and I'm like, you know what? Put on a new outfit, which I will show you. Um, and I was like, you know what? Screw it, we're going to train, we're going to train. <laughs> but my quads are just so sore from the other day. Um, and yeah, I literally just thought like, I just needed the rest, but you know what? I'm probably gonna be feeling like this up until comp. So yeah, let's just get through it. I'm feeling a little bit pumped now that I have a new outfit. <laughs> um, I've already eaten my uh, like breakfast. So um, I'll have to show you a day on my plate another day. Like So today is Friday, but that's fine because I honestly eat the same every single day at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're going to train legs. Um, there is a little bit of a quad finisher at the end. So we'll see how we go. I might actually sub that for some more delts because your girl needs some more delts <laughs> all right i'll show you this outfit all righty so dun, dun, dun. pretty cute black on black these are the new honeycomb leggings from right away so they've got the scrunch at the back and they've also got like that ribbed material. You can see it, yeah, hopefully. Maybe I'll come into the light a little bit more. Can't really see. I don't mind my house. This is literally like where I do all my posing in the morning. Um, so I have my room, but yeah. We're gonna go train legs now. Okay, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> These taste exactly like nerds. Watermelon sour patch. Yeah, I'm usually not a big sour fan, but I don't mind this, but I'm actually, oh, yeah, I will dry scoop this. Cause I think I only have one shaker.
God, guys Woo. alrighty so I almost skipped that session today because as I said this morning I felt really freaking sore in my like quads and my legs and my glutes and stuff like that glutes weren't too bad it was mostly my quads I'm not gonna lie but yeah I was just like I woke up and I was just like oh my god I'm so sore but once I got moving um I felt okay and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go and finish it out so we did, and I'm so glad I did because that was actually such a good session. I mean, I don't know if it's <laughs> because I filmed it and I was just like, gotta be good, gotta be good. <laughs> it was a really, really good session. Really, it was like targeted at my glutes, obviously. There was leg press at the end, which is like a burner, and that killed me. Um, but yeah, it was like, look at that. Can you see that? Oh. <laughs> I hope you can see that, but it was a bloody hectic session almost. I mean, I don't like to go off calories for sessions and stuff like that because I know that these things aren't 100% reliable sort of thing, but I know that I worked hard. <laughs> I know that I worked really, really hard. And yeah, so now it is almost nine o'clock. Um, I'm going to go home. I have a lot of Train With Taya check-ins to do. It is Friday, so I respond to all of their check-ins. Oh, not all of them, some of them. I have uh, my check-ins split up and I'll be sitting at the computer for the next few hours. And then later on, I'm going to get a massage with, well, at Mr. Mayo, but I'm going to George. So you guys will meet Steven. He's the owner of Mr. Mayo. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to see George and hopefully I wake up tomorrow feeling like 100%. So yeah, busy day ahead. It's probably too much wind, but just about to go for a walk at Merriweather. It's super windy down here. This beach is closed anyway. Um, it's a bit rough, but 